All right, man, let's talk about uh, Josh Allen. Um, a lot of people saying that he getting favoritism, he getting the pass. Last night he had four turnovers. One of the picks was just a punt. Um, a lot of people saying without, you know, Brian Dayball, he trashed you with the New York Giants right now. Uh, he's the head coach over there. But um, once again, Josh Allen stunk it up, stunk it up last night. Um, we know Stephon Diggs not happy or being over there. Um, you know, uh, but last year he threw, uh, he did make the Pro Bowl. Uh, he threw 35 touchdowns and 14 interceptions, which ain't really bad numbers. That's kind of where he had every year. You know, the year before that, 36, 15, 30, 17. So, I mean, at the end of the day, some people feel like Josh Allen is, you know, kind of getting the pass where guys like that, that Prescott is, you know, not getting the pass. And guys like Kyler Murray is not getting the pass. Um, you know, basically black quarterbacks are, you know, taking, um, being held to a different standard. And people feel like that they're giving Josh Allen a pass. You know, um, because obviously, you know, his skin color. And at the end of the day, uh, um, that Prescott, is a little bit more scrutinized because he's on America's team, All right? And the owner didn't want to pay him, so obviously the spotlight is there. I think Josh Allen struggles. Um, I believe his struggles really start with Buffalo's inability to commit to the run game. I mean, think about Buffalo playing in this, you know, being outdoors in the snow, in the elements, especially if you want to be playing into January. Um, they just refuse to commit to the run. There's not a commitment for them to run the football. And I think that's his biggest problem. If they committed to running the football, um, I don't really think, I don't really think we would be having this, this issue. He'd be more efficient. It wouldn't be three. It wouldn't be three interceptions. It wouldn't be two fumbles, one lost, one recovered. It wouldn't be that issue. You look at it. He ran the ball six times, bro. He's a second leader rusher. You had one guy, James Cook, Dalvin Cook, little brother, had twelve carries for forty six yards. You know, and New York kind of was like playing from behind, but they carried the ball six more times, but. They got to be able to get a mindset to lean on that run game. That's the problem with Josh Allen. Josh Allen, they need to establish a strong run game from Josh Allen. They should be in, let's see how many times he threw the ball last night. He threw the ball 41 times. You know, I would say take 15 of them throws away and turn them into runs. And I don't want to see him running six times a game because, you know what, he don't know how to just get out of bounds or slide. He looking to run people over. So at least really at least 15 of them throws should be going to passes. That's the God honest truth. And that's 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 Josh Allen's biggest problem. They refuse they refuse to Committed to running the ball. Ken Dorsey just want to throw it, throw it, throw it. You play outdoors. You know what I'm saying? You have to, you have to commit to the run game. That's gonna make just make the offense a let the offense align that much better. So it's not so much that Josh Allen is trash. Okay. It's not so much that Josh Allen is trash. It's just to the point where Josh Allen is just to the point where Josh Allen um, they, they just throw the ball too much. And when you throw the ball as much as you do, you're going to open yourself up to turnovers. So we get you know, we get to talking about uh, when we get to talking about, uh, 
you know, Josh Allen and 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 uh his struggles, a lot of his struggles got to do with he doing too much. It's as simple as that. He doing too much. They're asking him to go out there and be a nickelback hero. We need a hero to say he can't beat me. Can't ask no quarterback to run the ball, throw the ball, and carry a team to a championship. You just can't do it. You just can't do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you just can't do it. So at the end of the day, his struggles are on, his struggles are on the head coach and the offensive coordinator. That's where his struggles are at. Simple as that. That's where his struggles are at. They need to create an off. They need to run the football. But does it seem like he get a pass where other where other guys don't get a pass at? I mean, absolutely. We know what the privilege is just in America. You know, how they turn around and try to make affirmative action seem, you know, seem like, oh, man, it's unfair playing field. Man, dude, we know. How privilege working in America, corporate America, whatever part of America you in, there's privilege. And one of the reasons he probably does get a pass is that he played in Buffalo. Had he played in, in New York, had he played in Dallas, somewhere like that, then maybe the pass wouldn't be so great. But I think a lot of his issues are not Josh Allen issues. His lot of his issues is coaching issues. That's my opinion. A lot of the issues that he go through with is coaching issues. If you're not going to commit to running the football, he never he never going to win. And if he got to run the football, okay, he got to run the football, he's not going to last neither. He's not going to last. He's not going to last. Hear me out. So they have to find somebody they can get a ball to, hand the ball off to 20, 25 times a game. If that's between two backs or whatever, and then they need about five or ten, ten plays where you you throwing jailbreak screens or you throwing screen passes or, you know, you throwing passes, you know, that's short passes where they can go to the house. They short they short screen game need to be impeccable. You know? So that's just my opinion on it, man. But I think it's not a Josh Allen problem. I think it's a coaching problem. The coaches, you know, you have to be able to hand the ball off or run the ball off, especially when you're going into September, you're going into January. So December, January. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Check out the NFL Talk playlist for more videos like this. Financially, want to support the channel? Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit my link tree. You can find me on X, formerly known as Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. It's even more there. Appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. Uh, check out my new channel. The link's in the description, but it's free game 89 FR33 game 89. The link will probably take you to take you faster there. Appreciate y'all. Peace.